The Osman Faces podcast is now sponsored by Tire Spot, the Northeast's leading tire supplier with branches across the region. Tire Spot don't just do tires, they cover everything from servicing to wheel alignment. They can handle every aspect of your car's maintenance. For more information, visit tirespot.co.uk. Enjoy the episode. Hi everybody, welcome back to the Always Man and Faces podcast on the Gallagher Shot YouTube channel and we are back, the four of us are back for a, another Monday night show. Decker, it's been a long, long time. Oh, he's I forgot. Did, I, 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 I forgot. I did forget. Sorry. Long time since yeah, you've had the honours of doing this. But start the show. With how would I like to start a show? Well, wouldn't you now? Get in. in. Mate, Made hard work, right? Like he did it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm going to do things a little bit different uh, this week. Um, so I, I just want your thoughts on the overall game to, to start with and, and, and the expectations of going in and, and stuff like that. So we'll start with you, bestie. Will Fox. Mid-sentence. Yes. Man's right. <laughs> um, yeah, so so expectations going into the game, what panned <laughs> out and how you felt at, at the end of the game. I thought it would be... I thought it would be a pretty high-scoring draw. I thought 2-2 two, two or 3-3 three, because three, we concede goals, we score goals. They concede goals, but with their forward line, I mean, even, I mean, Michael Antonio got gifted the first goal, but Bowen, Paqueta, um, they are dangerous going forward as well, you know? So I, I fancied it would be a, a high scoring draw. I mean, in that 2 2 and 3 3 is high scoring mm -hmm. overall. And the emotions you felt throughout that game? I wanted to go home after 46 minutes. <laughs> I was like, there was a point where Smithy was stood next to when he made the sub. I think he brought Hall. It's so hard to remember who came on and when and who for. But it was, was a point where I think, on. I think when Hall. And no, it's it about an hour in, maybe. And he says, If that's Matt Ritchie, I'm going home. <laughs> it was 3 1. And Smithy was going, If that's Matt Ritchie, I'd say, I'm away, bestie. Me and Smithy are going to fall out. <laughs> you, the far oh, more dare have a good Matt Ritchie. <laughs> but then, um, I just say, uh, well, the real, I mean, the start was perfect, you know, getting the penalty and scoring it within, however, was it five minutes? Three four, minutes, five I think, was it? It took him further five to, to, in fact, no, that one was given straight away. It was the second one that took him a lifetime to award. It was three minutes. Yeah, no, no, that took a little while because they were checking for offside. Oh, offside, right? Yeah, offside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Gone, but so you knew off. it was a penalty at that at that stage. When they're checking for it was like Dan was, Burns yeah. going in the Champions League where they're looking for, or um, Gordon's against Arsenal where they're looking for excuses. They're, they're, bringing, they're bringing it further and further <laughs> back to look at it. Is it that? Is it that? Um, but I um, is that the first time that in football that the third goal's been scored scored earlier than the second goal as well? Because the third goal was the second goal was fifty-five oh, yeah, minutes. The second goal was forty-seven. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't it? Yeah. I, I've seen a few happen this season like that. Uh, championship level, I've because we're getting more yeah, every time now. Every time, time, yeah, so yeah, it like it's yeah, that yeah. must be quite common these days. Yeah, isn't it? I've seen it a few times. Yeah, it's quite funny. Yeah, it is a bit, a bit strange on that, but yeah, um, dreadful. Like the same old mistakes coming back again. That Antonio's goal where the ball's been just chipped over a flat defence, and someone with a, a bit of pace has got through. Dubravka has started positions too deep, and then he walks backwards instead of trying to. You know, he's yeah. he's basically might as well not be there for that one. Like I've got a I've got a bone to pick with him. Like, um, the other what was the second goal? The f was the second one the free kick? Ah, it was. And there's all sorts wrong with that. Where Shea's gone in too. It was from our to corner. The free kick. I and we've kind of gone for like a Shea's. I'm getting ahead of myself. Yeah, like, but there's we've made mistakes. The referees made mistakes. Another goalkeeping thing. And then the, the yeah. goal in the second half is just like, it's outrageous how poor that is. Yeah. It's, mm. Livermore was the only one back and even he gets it totally wrong and how many times have we seen a team attack and well, it has been the Leasers quite often where it's almost had a chance from that side of the penalty area and it just lashed it across the goal. Milan did it. Luton got one or two that way, I think. Forrest might have done as well. It's And we don't seem to learn. But then the flip side of that was the chances were had. With we had a lot in the first well, half, to be fair. The second half? We could, have, we could have scored six or seven, and it would have been a fair reflection on... After an hour? No, even though... Well, Gordon's head on the first half, just grounds wide. Bruno hits a crossbar in the first half. Second half, you've got the one that... The volley that gets saved. Barnes's volley Barnes, that gets yeah. saved. Yeah. You've got the one that Isaac kind of shanks, the one that Longstaff shanks, and we scored four goals on top of that. Mm, yeah. So we could have... We, like I say, we could have had seven or eight of the chances that we had, and you would go like, are they all like... None of them are freak goals or... 
Let's let's work our way through everything. I think I've just done so, that. Haven't well, well. <laughs> well, go on. Thanks. That's yeah, right. Bye. Well, this is what I want to know because because a lot happened in that game, a lot. So I just want to quickly just get a, an overall feeling of it. And Mark, obviously you were there at St James's Park, and obviously we've got awarded the the penalty in, in the first three minutes here. Um, he's access like steps and he kind of shanks at it. Really, doesn't he? Hits his heel. He does. To be fair, I mean, we'll come on to the other one as well. But I thought both of his penalties were. Quite poor. The way well, the second he, one was lovely. I thought. Oh, I thought the first one was a better no, strike. I think he, one. Yeah, the second yeah. one's worse for me. The second like, one, he really he does. Kind of hits it into, the, into it, the ground he? a bit, mm. but he puts them away both lovely into the into the corner, right away from the the keeper. But just I'm, like uh, Jason Tindall did. Yes. On soccer, soccer yes. special was it? Whatever they call it now. Soccer social. Saturday social. Oh, was he on that? Was he? It was that uh, great guest, the pro. All oh, right. Okay. It's good, good little watch. But yeah, uh, he's like, it's a but deck I come to uh, Gordon once again. Gordon getting in those positions where he manages to, to win us. That penalty. Yeah, he's very, very clever, isn't he? Like he's very, very clever that he's not only like switched on to 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 work back. So like, so for example, let's say Almiron. So in them in them types of areas, Almiron would be switched on enough to try and get the ball back quickly. He's also thinking, right? How can I position myself in a in a way that's going to draw contact? Um. And it's a funny one. I think we'll come on to the second penalty, but obviously at some point. Um, but again, I, you know, Gordon's he, he's involved in everything that we do. Well, so is Isak, to be fair. But Gordon is generally involved in every good moment that we have in a game. Um, and, and, and just brilliant again. But as Bessie said, well, it almost, when, we, when you carry on, it gets frustrating. But to start the game as well as that and get the goal with 1 0 up, calm any nerves, let's yeah. get settled in. You, I'm not saying you're just going to go and blow them away. I, that's not what I'm suggesting. But you would think would have more control of the game. And I've mm. complained for a long time about yeah. not having control in any game of football. And I've said it for weeks. I don't think either team had had control of the game, really, because it was proper. Like, as a, as a neutral watching that, it was really end to end. Very like, entertaining, they'd yeah. have a go, we'd have a go. And it, so it was very, very back and forward. And Which, just, it, like you say, not keeping a hold of the ball. Every game's been every like that. Game like that. Yeah. It's like basketball, man. I, it's, I it's thought... Um, I thought exactly that. Just, it, it reminded us a lot of when they beat Leicester in 97. The did, hat did you hear about the times of them goals? Have you seen that one? Is that, that true? Might be what's put as a mic. Well, the times identical or something like the that. The last three goals. So well, we're three one down. We we'll scored yeah. three goals to win four three. I, think I might have seen it on Saturday. I feel that I've not, that's it's, not the first. It's the same be. minutes. The same minute goals. Same minutes. Yeah. Unbelievable. Eh? That's my mind went to a few, yeah. like, like three or four games where we've we've done that. Came back from. 3-1 uh, down to Luton. win four three. Well, yeah. Antonio's goal was very similar to Heskey's in that game. If I'm being honest, but uh, yeah, I, I just thought. Again, it's just it's just very messy. Do you know what I mean? And, and mm. <clears throat> obviously, we'll, we can go on. At, the goals were conceded, of course. And there's, there's kind know. of a reason for that first goal that we conceded being messy, though, Decker, isn't there? Oh, 100%. With obviously the shuffle out the back. It literally oh, came yeah, yeah. Minutes of <clears throat> yeah, yeah. It was yeah, pretty much music. four minutes after. It, yeah. it was four minutes after. Yeah, and it, it is very it's very difficult when you come on. Um, I mean, we've we've said it before about Williams when Bruce didn't now way to play, but this this wasn't that type of argument. It wasn't that he didn't know his job. <clears throat> it's just very difficult sometimes to join a game. And then have to switch on immediately. And he was just off. I mean, it's a lovely ball from Paquetta, mind you. And it is, it I, is. There's not many players could find the pass that, to be fair. And the finish is fantastic. But the, it's, the, you know. the, what happened in that, that scenario, Mark? So obviously, Lascelles goes off. And we we'll know the news about Lascelles. He's out now for, for the same injuries what, what Botman's got. That's a killer for him, like, isn't it? Because you'd think. I just signed the one year deal yeah, as well. New, new deal, deal. That's going to literally take him to the. You'd imagine till the mm. end of his contract and probably the end of his his Newcastle career, I would have thought, which is a shame for him to go out that way. Testimonial year as well. He could have been. I know he's he's hey he's played a lot, like probably a lot more games this season than he than he probably expected to himself. Mm -hmm. And he's done he's done well in he's, a, in a lot done, of that time. Well so most, it's most. it is a bit of a kick in the teeth to him. I um, think yeah, stage. like when the takeover happened two and a half years ago now, was it? You would never have said that in two seasons' time, Jamal Lascelles. In the second full season after the takeover, Lascelles is going to play whatever percentage, a lot of football. Yeah. You know, play the, the, the PSG. And he's played games, like big games in clubs history, which I kind of, I've just mentioned, it's a testimonial. You know, it would be nice for him to have something like that because he's had 10 years and he's been such an important figure, you know, from when he put a hole in the wall at St. Mary's. And punch Yama. Getting upset with Yama and I. To like. Diarmi, did he have a follow with Diarmi as well? I mean, training in the championship yeah, one yeah, yeah, yeah. I. So he's he's been throat, such an he? important figure throughout, like from Benitez. I mean, uh, he signed in twenty fourteen, so he would have been Pardew that signed him. Is that right? 
well, him and Dahl were signed. It was the same loan, time. Wasn't and he? Yeah, they were back, back to Forest, Forest, didn't they? Yeah, and the year after it came to us, which was the championship year, I want to say. No, they came back. The, uh, was he no, because we got relegated. Oh, he was yeah, he was mid cha- yeah, club captain great, towards the end yeah. of that the, the relegation yeah. season. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was the Southampton game, three another defeat at St Mary's. So he's he's been such a yes, he's been a massive part of him. When you see the new signings come, even when he wasn't playing as much last season, he's still the first one in the training ground. You hear how important he is. Trippier speaks highly of Mary How does how important he is like, as part of the uh, as a club captain. Um, so I had to sick now for him. But then he's been a, without him this season, we wouldn't be. I don't think we'd be sitting in eighth with 10 games to go, nine games to go, whatever it is. Like he's, he's, well, I, he's been I, I, great I will say that there was a stretch of games where we, it was every game was a real tough one. It was a really hard run. Yeah. And we just seem to be getting past each game, performing really well. And, and Lascelles was part of that. Mm-hmm. That I remember because he came in, I was really worried, thinking, oh my God, well, there was that stretch of run where we had City in the Cup, we had my night away, we had Paris Saint Germain, we had all these games. Yeah. And we actually was were doing brilliant and obviously got to credit them for that. Like, But at the end of the day, like, not to be cruel here, but I agree that he. I would. I don't want anyone to get injured, and I would love him to to see his contract through in a better way. Yeah, oh yeah. I, but um, he deserves that. Like we need to, you know, talk about the shuffle that we had about at the back, Lord Decker, and the changes mm-hmm. which were made to force that move. You want so, to so talk about the, the defensive changes which were made because it wasn't like for like. It was all all four. I ended up moving, yeah. didn't it? Well, everyone so from Tino, Fabian, wasn't it? Tino went. Well, no, he still moved because he came from left to right, didn't he? Well, so really easy there for a second. Tino went from uh, right back to left back. Yeah. Byrne went into left centre half, and then Cher yeah. moved over so to right centre half. I did want to ask you. So, what was what was your emotions when your mate got moved centre uh, centre half? Absolutely fine because oh, uh, yeah. you keep telling us every week that he's the centre half. So I just thought you might have a tear or something. I wasn't sure. Got the figures um, this week as well, Mark. So, We've got the figures, but uh, it, it yeah, did, so I, I, it made sense, though, right? That 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 change it made perfect sense that he would go that side. Well, there was blah, blah, blah. there was options yeah. on the yeah. bench, wasn't there? With yeah. with Dumit could have came in and played left left yeah. centre half, as we know. No, Kraft's no, gone in on, there yeah. and played right side Steady as well. On, yeah. But Dumit's not coming in today now. So no. was Kraft the first change? Kraft for the yeah. cells? That Kraft came uh, on for the cells. Um, Stevie, that sounds Stevie Passmore, who I know watches. Um, he was quite cross at the time that Lewis Hall wasn't brought on left back. Mm. Um. And then it would have been Lewis Hall left back, Dan Burns centre half. You keep yeah. Tino right back. Obviously, shared the right side of that. Um, and I remember talking to him at the time, saying, Stevie, like, I, I, I Kraft's played that way. He's, he's a good player. Kraft, he's done well. I mean, it turns out he was right, like, but in a roundabout way. But... Yeah, I, I felt sorry for him because, again, you've had to really reshuffle. <clears throat> and then there's just one lapse in concentration, slash one. It's it's one of them. It's a lapse in concentration, and also one quality moment. And it yeah. costs you. And that's the thing with this, with the level you're playing at, right? It's the fine margins. And he, He's just off, and it looks so simple. The whole goal looks terrible. It looks yeah. so simple, but it, it is for me what you said, though. To Bravka's start position, like when yeah, when the defense is is that high, and you've, you've probably got to ask questions of the defense as well. Where there's a ball with a midfielder in the middle of the park with loads of time, mm-hmm. you've got to drop back, or if you're not dropping back, your keeper's got to come come further out yeah. to the edge of their box. I mean, his, his starting position wasn't awful, but he. Moves backwards when the ball comes over. It's a little bit ahead of um. It's a heavy uh, touch from Antonio. Of Antonio, yeah. when it bounces ahead of him, that kind of skips up on the turf a bit, mm-hmm. and that's where you think, right? You keep uh, on your toes, get the play the ball, wipe him out, throw in, and it's like a piece. Of, it's a passage of play that like we've escaped. It doesn't get talked about, but instead, he moves backwards. Yeah, he, yeah. Goes, he does. Yeah, he yeah. moves backwards. He ends up yeah. inside his six yard box. Yeah, and that's yes, scandalous. He does, make, that's... he does make the move first, then. Then like retreat. Shit, but how often do we see him do that though? Yeah. It's, it's that yeah. it's that like lack of belief or of that he can go out and close the ball down it or, or the hesitation from the doing it that's that's caused a lot of problems all season. And you know, I, I hate to you know have it have a go, but it, it is I know I, you know, I don't I don't like taking them out every, as well. But... It feels like every other week. Mm. Probably the last few we haven't, maybe it's because we haven't any games, but <laughs> we, haven't, break, we haven't talked about you know, even Bradka's positioning and stuff like that for a little while. But in the international break, did you say he conceded the fastest ever international goal? Did he? Six uh, seconds or something, wasn't it? The three, I think. But it wasn't. It wasn't his fault. It was. Um, I forget who this. They're playing now. Uh, Slovakia, but he that, that broke through. Just tw- different twenty five yards on bottom corner. He's got any chance, but it's uh, just a, a another yeah. little kind of. Do you not think he's kind of in a similar situation with, with some of the goals? I, I, I get. Yes, he's he's not great at, at coming out and what, what's it called? Kind of sweeper keeper sort of role. He's not yeah. great at that digger. No. He's not. But let's be honest, he's had well, a I've lot got of changes. The second goal, yes. But he's had a lot of changes in front of him as well. So it, is, it won't is, help. That won't help. Has the lack of confidence that the defence will have in Dubravka, that works, that's a two-way street, that as well. It has to be. Oh, 100%. I, I, I think you can't just look at Dubravka for that goal. There's, there's a combination of errors, right? Kraft obviously plays him on side. 
the Avatar move your back four round. No pressure on the midfield on the on the person with the ball. Everyone's just standing looking at him and what you want yeah, to do. Long time the, the, ball, there's, yeah. there's so many issues with that goal from start to finish. But I said I said when Pope got injured that I felt it would be a it'd be a problem, and I feel it has been a problem. I really do because I, I well we'll take we'll take out the uh, the Wolves game and maybe another one perhaps. Sorry, take us back. But I do feel like to, in order for us to win a game of football, we've got to score three goals like minimum. That's how it feels to me in yeah, every game, conceding. and that's that's tough. It's kind of keep doing that, you know. You just can't concede a lot of goals. It's a more lot. of a, it's a lot. been more of a um, problem than I thought it would be. I don't, mm. I don't use the word problem because I don't. I like the Brad I just don't think he's. I think at the level that we are now trying to get to a play at, he really noticed a drop off from Nick Pope. Mm. Um, His shortcomings are more they're more, more evident, obvious, aren't they? Aren't they? Yeah, yeah. I. In the second goal, I, I think me and Mark are going to be on the same page for a lot of it. So, so we'll, we'll move on to the second goal because that's obviously after the injury and, the, and obviously they, they get the first. The second goal, um, Fabian goes down holding his, his face, which we see every single game with Fabian. I think it's his trademark move at the moment. Uh, and the referee awards a free kick because it is a foul. Fab, Fabian fouls. Right. Who is it? That you, that you fouls? Could us? No. I can't remember. Uh, I think it might be so, Antoine. I think it might go. Can't remember. It was one of them. He, does, he comes on the back, doesn't he? And yeah. He does get a bit of a tap in the face, but not enough. Yeah, not enough. It's not very easy. soft. It's reactive. It's not, it's, there's no like there's no intent on the other part. It, it's just yeah, reaction from, yeah. from Fabian because he probably thinks that he's going to get awarded the free kick by doing that. And mm. um, the referee doesn't buy it, awards a free kick at West Ham. Um the referee allows West Ham to take mm. the free kick, which is very, very clever play from Piquetta. I'm not taking anything away from him. It's a great ball to Bowen. On the right, who plays it in for uh, Kudos there, who just smashes it in the net. Well, should the referee have allowed that one to go on, Decker? I, I'd probably say no, to be honest. I'd probably say not. And I'm not just saying that because it's us, because I'll come on to something later. But, um, but I, he's, he's, he's entitled to, from what I've heard, it's within the rules. He can't, it's, it's, up, his, discretion. it's his discretion. But it feels very unfair. Like that, well, when the player has been on the deck three or four times that first half, the, yeah. the game stopped. He was horrendous. At, for that, by oh, the way, he was. Oh. There was one where he hit the deck really hard, but I thought he might be winded. And the, I think Dan Byrne cleaned about halfway of the header. And I thought, oh, that looks like it hurt. And crowd on his back, and I thought, oh, actually, that, and uh, there was a few with Bruno that was hardly brushing him, like, I mean, literally yeah. brushing him, and he's going down. Well, the, game stopped. the game stopped. No, me. I agree. I absolutely agree. I, for, for me, I just think he, he has to, she has to get treatment or slash wait till he's up. You know what I mean? Oh, well, if he gets treatment and goes off the field, that's a different story. Take the free kick, but you've got to give him the opportunity to get back up. You can't just continue the game while he's because it is very that's rare you'll you'll see a game continue while the player's on the deck. Yeah, he's on the after deck. a free kick's been awarded. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's in that position as well where there's that's not a chance to set a wall up. Or... And the referee's bit almost on the ball as well. Yeah, yeah. No, I think it's I think it's a shocking bit of refereeing. Do you I think, think that he hasn't noticed him? Him? Oh, it's terrible defending. I'm going to him, but yeah. Do you have you? Do you think he just hasn't realised he's down? Maybe. He, he can't. He's walked I mean, he he can't. He stood there looking. I, don't I, know, I feel yeah. as though they've taken the free kick so quickly. The referee hasn't. He didn't whistle for the free kick we taken, which I'm sure is normally the thing. I, I could be incredible. Not with a like, fast free, with a quick free kick. They don't have to. They don't have right. to. No. So I think no, they've taken no. it so quickly. The referee hasn't. He hasn't gathered his thoughts. Yeah. Basically. But how many times do you see in that situation where they try to take a fast free kick, the referee immediately stops the game yeah. and pulls it back? The, the only thing is, is obviously because he's awarded it a free kick to West Ham, but it's our, our player down. Ordinarily in those situations, it's the player that's been fouled that mm. ends up on the deck. Mm. So oh, that's, that's, right, that's, right. that's maybe where there's a bit more of the kind of it, they're a bit you know stronger on on giving that weight until the player's in, but it, it completely causes an issue because it's you know a def defender that needs to get back into the position. Yeah. And But what does cause an issue more than that, Mark, is our player's not being switched on. So the ball before the ball lands and, and stops dead on, on on the pitch, Bruno just lets the ball do that. He doesn't stand over it. Willick turns his back on yeah, it. Willick's He's nowhere. He just turn, yeah. turns his back on it. Then obviously that that's the ball that that brings Bone in. So. Our lads but again, they're looking at the player on the pitch and thinking, oh, well, he, he's down. He's going to either need some treatment or that he's going to wait until he gets to his feet and gets back into position because yeah, that's we're, what we're, happens in every single game. But West game. Ham didn't know. West Ham didn't think, oh, wait until he's up. You, you've got to be alert, haven't you? West Ham were, and we weren't. No, I, I still think the referee's to blame, by the way. I do, but yeah. West Ham were switched on and we weren't, bottom line. And, and to be fair, that the referee was awful. Awful, was, I, I think it's yeah, but like, to be fair, so Moyes complained about him as well after the game. Everybody's it's, it's, it's mad you get to the end of the game. It was well, it will have based on the they, they had obviously got complaints around the Second the penalties, yeah. um, that, that were given. And second one, I'd say maybe go, go he was moaning about both. I agree with going that, yeah. back to, to the second goal, though. Um, obviously, we'll, we'll figure that out. I feel as a player, but 
to me, Dubravka should oh, be doing Dubra- better than that. Mind. It's, it's appalling, a problem, isn't it? It's appalling. Right. Again, he's just stood. He's practically stood on his knee at post. That's a problem I've got like, with it. He gets a hand on it. And it, it, I saw it, obviously, you see it the first time when it happens. It's great. Hit, and we right? don't get the replay because where we sit in the stadium, I can't see that. I'm going to use lads up. They're there about as well. Um, I thought he got a hand on that. I wonder if that's did. It. But then we look at it again. He doesn't shift. So the ball gets played back and he doesn't really, he's on his heels pretty much. Mm. He doesn't, if he takes a little half step, he's right. Because the ball's almost certainly going to go that way. But even if it goes that way, you can save it that way. Your momentum's taking it there. You save that. He's, he's it's got a good to hit. close the angle. He it's a good hit. To close the angle. But even without taking that step, he should save it. Got him. It's that good a hand on it. Yeah. He's it's saveable that like. Well, if you I've always said if you go, really if your goalkeeper can get a full hand on it and doesn't save it, that's a keeper's fault. Yeah. He but has to save that. that. Not taking that half step was criminal. Like that's yeah. really, really poor goalkeeping. That maybe it's because he's not quite switched on, he's kind of just being shocked into uh, whoa, hang on, it's off again. Yeah. So he's being a little bit kind well, of Well, I've watched about a few times and I there, there is a bit of time, you know, to be honest, like from from like Paquetta's looking for a little bit and they like sort of walking back, a few people are walking away, he then plays the ball. Like it's not a case of like he's passed the ball and he's shot. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's not that quick. There's a, there's time there. There's time. You wouldn't and, think if it was Paquetta to to Bowen, then Bowen hits a shot. And just shoots. Yeah. Then I can understand yeah. the guy's flat footed. Oh, I thought you would be waiting for shit to get up type of thing. Whereas there there is a bit of football happens. But as I say, it was just it was just a dre- I thought it was just dreadful all around from the referee us not being switched on, but the keeper, he has to save that like he has to save that. Yeah, um, that's, that's as bad as he's I done. Just, I just want to highlight a comment which has been sent in uh, sent in. Those that are listening to the audio, this is a live uh, stream as well. Um so the comment which has been sent in, it is from Doom the Knox, which is, is, is pretty relevant the name. Uh, he says Dubravka and Karius are the worst pair of keepers we've had, in my opinion. He doesn't remember some of the days under Matt Sells. I'm harsh on Carrius, that to be fair. <laughs> God, Dolo, I think they're both better than Dolo, they're both better than Sells. Well, uh, was it uh, Anik that Anik. we had and he just got soiled in yeah. the deep end, to be fair? Anik. We could see about a nightmare when the, the start of that season. He conceded about 15 and three goals or something. Yeah, three games. Sorry, did it? Was, 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 was it Anik when Ronaldo was first game? Mike Hooper playing Black and White. Was it? Did Ronaldo when Ronaldo was first game back in my United? That was Anik at them. Could have been a shocker. I remember Jack Anik's debut. He went and punched one, and his elbow caught um, Diego Carlos in the face. Mm. There's a picture of Carlos, you know, when they, you see a slow motion punch in boxing, and he's kind of the face moves, but the skin stays still for a second or two. This thing where he's punched the ball, but Diego cost out Diego Carlos. Yeah, and his face is like, yeah, 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 brilliant, it's hilarious. Aye. Aye. I think I think Carrius gets a bad rep. I don't think he's done anything Aye, wrong. Why he's, 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 he's had an opportunity? No, he's, he's, you know, unfortunately, he's played in two games. I mean, the, the cup final, <laughs> just like he's gone to your own goals. I don't want him in goal for Botman. I mean, it, now Botman's not playing for a while. I'd give Carrius a run. I'd, like. I'd have him ahead of Dubravka. I mean, I said it after he played a few weeks back. Oh, when so he only played that one game. I would have happily have kept him in nets. I don't think he played badly. I think it's the, the damage that was done to his kind of, well, him as well. In that cup final, that uh, Champions League final for, uh, against Real Madrid really followed him. But then he's... He's a third-choice goalkeeper at the end of the day. That's what he yeah, is. And and he's, he's not a bad third-choice. Like, yeah. I have to, I have to say that. He's been the third-choice are normally Woodman's yeah. in here. No offence to him. Well, but like, Anik, one of us. Jack, I think Mark Gillespie. You know, I mean, there's the issues here. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? They're real issues. So I definitely think he's a decent third goalkeeper. But in order to progress, could, both of them kind of be there. Mm. He'll be off at the end of season anyway. Yeah, cool, be, yeah. I think, yeah. So we're going um, two one down at half time, Mark. And what was the atmosphere like at St James Park? Was it more annoying to the anger, referee? Anger with the referee. Yeah, that was because, prevailing. Like, I mean, like Bessie's just said there before, we'd had a couple of very good chances. Bruno hitting the bar, the header from from Gordon, yeah. um, both up with the, the Leesers. So we were we were in it. It, it wasn't that we were. I'm saying we weren't bad, but we also weren't good, and like and you know neither were them. So it was just it was one of them games where almost like you say that it was it was backwards and forwards, but there wasn't anybody any any, any control of that game, and like it could have quite easily have been us being you know three one up going into that. They could have been. It was a funny one. Two one up, and Bruno hit the bar, which was a lovely effort, by the way. Yeah, it was. I killed a lovely. And then it's a great build up play as well. We mm. almost score, and then them all then break immediately. I'm sure Ankudos is in, and Burn is just very well. Oh, just really well, yeah. Yeah. He does at, really at, well, mate. He's at his limit there. He's at his him. limit, but he flattens him. But oh, that, I, 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 I kept thinking, him. my God, like we've, so. all, we've hit the bar and almost scored, and yet again, we've, we've nearly conceded. Do you know what I mean? And then yeah. the, 
and we'll go on to the second half. Yeah. What happens within a minute of that? What we just don't seem to off. learn from 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 this. I don't know. I, just, well, I think that was the way both teams were were set up because we were doing exactly the same to them. Every single out ball was was Gordon, and he was away on the left. He end. was. He I, had Kufal on on toast. Like, yeah, I, just, I thought entire, he was yeah. a bit too predictable. Though. I thought he'd come inside in very tame efforts, like. Well, that one was just getting in the blocked first half, time and time. Exactly. I won the first half that was poor as well. Just you knew, I knew, you, I've got no problem with coming inside. I know he's going to come inside, but he was coming inside and just I'm trying bend it in there. And I'm like, what? Well, no, I think it was three just, times in a row. Three times in a row. I'm like, come on, mate. Like, is no, there someone alongside you? I used to do that, and you used to go wild for it. The other wild though. <laughs> but you got three assists at the end of the day as well, man. No, I'm not criticizing. I'm he not. I'm not. He, he, he was brilliant. brilliant. All, all I'm saying is like it was. He was quite predictable. I thought in that the the. Three times in a row, I was like, right, you need now change that. You're not going to be the Ben one. Do you know what it is? I've just said that. I remember saying at one point in the first half, maybe at half time, he's due a bad game because there was a few times where we were passing the ball to nobody. Oh, no one. Like just, we were passing the ball and there was no run being made. No one. No. Like um, Murphy did it a couple of times where he's played it towards the corner and there's just not a. <laughs> Which the run should have been made. There was two or three times it went out for a goal kick. Yeah, and yeah. Were Bill and Gordon quite well as well. As well. Out for goal well kick, he's he's played a ball. I don't know he's expecting Isaac to be up there yeah. or. Um, yeah. It would have been Dan Byrne, wouldn't it? The second left back, uh, Tino, and there's just been nothing. There was one way the ball got played to Murphy. And I totally forgot about this until we started talking about it. The ball got played across the pitch. I forget who played the ball. It was in the first half because he run up the uh, east stand. And you can see the velocity, the, the movement of the ball, where it's going to go. And Murphy's, what he's got to do. The defender cuts it out. But Murphy could have got it five seconds earlier. Murphy mm. was, was... I'm turning it to Decker here because <laughs> Murphy was absolutely terrible ah, i forgot he was terrible playing at one point. in the first half I, I, he was running away from the ball like you said that one like, was not so going peculiar. near them and like well come on come on to the, the, the second half when they scored that third goal he goes to take I, I could not believe my eyes he went out to take the corner down in, in the, the gallagher corner where we sit mm -hmm. he got tackled by a water ball <laughs> what i can't remember that just before he takes the corner <laughs> For the third goal, he got tackled by a water ball. We might need that water ball. I so swear soon. to God, like that, not, that put just put back. Up it was more than our midfield by the sounds of it. Water ball. He got tackled by a water ball. Well, I, I'm going to say it again, lads. But Carrius, Debravkas, Lascelles, Murphy's. You have to get rid of them, man. I, I, I know it sounds awful, but in order to progress and become a better team. They're the players that have to go now. That's what the, now, that's what, what the process is, isn't it? It's absolutely. So but I know we're very sentimental and everyone's like, ah, but he's been a great servant. He's a lovely lad. He waves at cameras. He laughs. Rubbish, man. Like, he's got a decent right foot on him. He puts a hell of a ball in. I'll say that he about him. Like, oh, yeah. Occasionally, he can put a hell of a ball in. But he's not good enough, man. He actually did well right, right back. He did better well. second half. He did really well. So, right so the goal that we did. I'm surprised as well, I thought. But yeah, he did. It was a proper game of two halves from him. Like, so so the, the, the third goal we conceded, Bone could have had all day. Like, it was just him in that half. At one point, Fabian yeah. tries to make the challenge. Fabian completely misses the challenge. But Isaac, Isaac, cocks it up in in their box from the corner because mm. he has a has a swing yeah. at him and then gives up. So you've got to have a word with him there. One of the things which has been highlighted on match of the day, and I didn't even pick this up at the point, is, is that if Gordon tracks Bowen a lot oh, yeah, earlier, then he he reaches that because he sprints. But he, it's about three seconds after, and he, he sprints and he so makes much ground, so much he? ground. He mm. does. But do you see? God, I can't believe I'm going to do this. But did you see who's actually running with Bone at first and then gives up on halfway line? Was Dan Burn. Bruno. Oh, Bruno. Uh, he just gives man. up. Yeah, I would expect gives that. Gives up running. Mind. Like, Probably because shockers. Gordon bombs past them and thinks, oh, well, I'm not getting there. Then then but Tino yeah, tries Tino, to do something. Yeah, Tino, Tino tries to stick on the halfway line. line. It's yeah. difficult for him. He's his bearings, doesn't he? I did think that he'd had a poor... <sighs> He, he was poor yeah. when he went to left back. Like I, I yeah, thought, I thought he had a chance here to to get that, and I thought he would have been able to cut that ball out. And to be fair here, right, Bone's still got an awful lot to do. Like I, I appreciate everyone he's one on one, but from the halfway line, you know, what I mean, you've still got to carry it. And I thought we were gaining and gaining and gaining, gain, but it's a hell of a finish. Now, I'll to bring Debravka a bit there as well, you know. Like Debravka's got to come out a bit more than that. Like, I'm not saying come out and tackle him. I'm not saying that, but. I, I thought his position on that one was quite poor. I as well. see it again. Come out, make yourself big. I'm gonna make yourself big. I, I found again he's just rooted and it, give him all that. It was a great finish, man. It's on his weaker foot as well. I think it was all player, the players. I, I think that Debrav has the one way. I'm not really. No, 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 no. I, I get it. I get it. No, I, I agree. He's but a really good player. He's, he's amazing, mate. Well, like he's, he's amazing. Yeah. He hadn't really done that much though in the in the, in the game, and that but he was quite quiet for long spells. Mm. I think. But he's he, like that, that, as you see, you get that chance, and it's. Great finish, but there's now for, for errors all over the When shop. that goal goes in, I mean, 
So that the, the, no, you, you, you will know no. bestie bestie. So that the atmosphere from anger at, at half time that was towards the officials. Yeah. When the third goes in, does that anger switch to the players? Oh, absolutely. Of course. I mean, I don't think I don't remember it being particularly like um, volatile or, or, or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's Mark. Maybe no, I, I, I'm, I don't think it went angry at all. I it think felt it more like, people just went. Oh, God, it felt like more like resignation, again. like yeah. deflated sort of thing. Because I, I must admit, when that happened, I thought. This could be six or seven. This because we're just getting cut open. Because it's two goals. I mean, I made, I made the point earlier. Two goals, literally. Last, not literally, but last kick of the first half, first kick of the second half, yeah. and it's like, oh well, that's the game. That's that's gone. That'll have a, Everton it did Tuesday feel like that a bit of resignation of the result. That was certainly my reaction to it. Like, because I, I, I felt like even if we try to get back in the game, we're going to leave more space. Obviously, because you're trying to put more people yeah, forward. Yeah, yeah. And I just felt that. I felt like that in the first half, if I'm being honest, every time them come forward, I thought, I'm going to score you. Mm. Like, I just felt they were getting opportunity after opportunity after opportunity, but obviously, we're now what happened. Like, in the, so a few uh, changes I made as well. So, so um, Kraft goes off injured. He's another one straight down the tunnel. Was he? Uh, was straight it, down was the it, tunnel. I, I yeah. assume, but you know. Yeah. So, um, and, and the players that, that come on are... Mickey came uh, on as Mickey, well. Mickey, Anderson, and Hull. Hull came on oh, later, three, yeah. which come on, right? The was, three, well, was the three together because Hull came on later. Yeah. So the, so the game changes a, a bit, but then obviously Miggy goes off injured as well. Mm. Goes down holding his knee. Oh, Hall comes off a team, doesn't he? Later on? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so so he goes down holding his knee, and, and you're thinking our work just worse. Our look can't get any worse than, than what it is right now. You've you've had three players <laughs> injured in one game. Kraft obviously comes on as a sub, gets injured. Miggy comes on as a sub, gets injured. So there's I mean, both your subs shoots off. Pitch minutes. He was. Well, yeah, was he went down holding his knee. Not even touched the ball. And around about the same time, Gordon. Was holding his hammy. Mm-hmm. Shaw was holding his hammy. At this point, you're thinking we're gonna have to just take players off and not have anybody to bring on. Well, I was wearing the home shirt and sat there. I thought I might, I might be in for <laughs> get your boots uh-huh. on. <laughs> get a big pair of shorts from the shop and that. Like, because when when Miggy went down, I was it's not like him, is it? And you could see it was bad. It was it was a problem mm-hmm. with his knee. And I thought, bloody hell, right on the byline. He yeah, just right went straight away. Get yeah. us off. Yeah, yeah, was yeah. Get us off. But having said that, there's been so, certain moments in that game, which. Have worked in our favour despite it being our players affected. So obviously the injuries force Harvey Barnes to come on the field because he comes on to replace um, Miggy. Miggy. Mm-hmm. If that doesn't happen, then Barnes doesn't probably get that opportunity. I don't think it's absolutely think correct. He probably, probably comes Murphy, on for maybe. Gordon. Gordon, Gordon maybe. I think yeah, um, Gordon, you know injury Lewis Hall as well. Hall was brilliant. Man. He was excellent. Hall yeah. was excellent when he came. Really, uh, genuinely, mm-hmm. and I've been quite critical of him over the season. That's the best I've seen him play probably yet. Mm-hmm. He was really yeah. good. He was good. It's yeah. great to see as well because I'm sick of him getting shit. Like, yeah. sick of it. So I'm glad. That he, oh, I big time, man. Sick of it because I just think everyone's banging on about that, this and that. And I kept saying how young he was. Like, even if it doesn't work out this season, even if it doesn't, he's 18 year old, man. Like, and it might not work out for a bit of next season. He'll be 18 and a half. Like, just settle down. I don't know why. I don't know why everyone wants him to come on and be Maldini already. He's 18, man. We'll find just, out tomorrow night, won't we? Because well, I know he's guaranteed know. to play because he is. You just look but at that back four now. I do want to reference what you said there because Keith Downey put a tweet on saying like, um, "Oh, applaud how for making them changes, them the changes that." And then someone he got loads of shit. This poor lad, but there's lads doing well. Actually, he would have never made them subs. Well, he would have never, he would have yeah. never done them. He would have never. He's not going to bring Miggy on and bring him off after five minutes, is he? I like, think he would have seen Hall come on like, like uh, sorry, Hall Barnes come on like Mark says. Five, I um, would. It wouldn't have come. I but you exactly for Gordon. It wouldn't have been the time when it was. But like, like I don't. It's know. that butterfly effect. Isn't it, it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. Now, obviously, in 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 isolation, in ninety minutes, it's fantastic. Obviously, longevity though is a problem because it can happen that way though. Saturday, you know, if Kieran you know, Clark had been sent off at home Norwich at time, Joe Linton would have been. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, Joe exactly, would have been yeah. sold for like ten million a couple of summers yeah. ago, and that, that would have been. But that it, did, it did work out well in the, in the end. Of course, it did. Um, so let, let's talk about Harvey Barnes because I, I said last week I don't understand why we spent that money. On that, that left hand side of the field, which the first thing I said, I think I'm just that's why I was smiling at this point. But shall I? I, I stand by it, I stand by it, right? I, I do, how can you stand by it? I do stand by it because I, I just thought that I still think the right hand side needs more investment than what the left hand did. I still stand by that point. Uh, I think everybody's in agreement that we knew Harvey Barnes was a good player and he would get your goals because he did at Leicester. Everybody knew that. I just I just didn't think that left-hand side of the field needed that attention. So that amazing cross that uh, the right winger put across for Bonds, where he keep put it in. Oh, aye, that was Gordon playing on the right-hand side. I know, whipping the ball. Know, in. So, so, the so point Bonds the on the season left, was it. attacking the four posts. So when the he made them the subs, when he made them subs, and Amaron come on, were you standing up going, "Why do you not bring Bonds on?" What did you say? Oh, you're just fine with it. No, because I, that is the 
the change that I would have expected to see would, would be Almiron come. To be fair, I was surprised Almiron didn't actually start on, on the right wing. Yeah, he seems to be favouring Murphy at the minute, doesn't he? Yeah, he, does. Month or so. he does. But having said that, Bonds, we knew he was a fantastic player and he looked lively as soon as he came on. For, for a player yeah. that's missed the majority of, of the season, a, a new player that must have been tough for him. Um, mm-hmm. After his injury comes on, he scores on his return to the team, didn't he? Scored in that I game. Did, I it feels well. like every single game that he comes on as a substitute, he, he gets a couple of goals. He so gets a so if you shoot towards the Gallagher, if we could just move the Gallagher to every way ground. <laughs> <play my laughs> so it's like Chini Wijnaldum, isn't it? Honestly, it's <laughs> oh, unbelievable. Right. Uh, you're right, but obviously he gets a chance early on where it's a left foot volley. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And from that lovely ball from, it is, it goes, is from goal the right. that, that puts it in. And it's a great save by is it Fabianski. Fabianski comes um, on, yeah. Yeah. Um, so it, it's a great save, but you could just tell from that moment he he, he was eager to get on the score sheet. Yeah, hundred percent. I, I also think I know we're talking about our subs. Their subs were horrendous. Yeah. Thanks, thanks, David Moyes. Like oh, I don't I don't know what they're thinking. I have to be fair here, I don't know what they're thinking. They, they brung Antonio off. Um, mm. I thought he was excellent. I thought we were comfortable at that well, point. Three one, you think that game is tied up, really, don't you? Three Everybody one. in that ground thought that game. So was it's tied three up. one. We're, we're riddled with injuries. You've got the West Ham fans all in on the fiftieth yeah. minute. Um, we, yeah, but we'd, we'd missed, but sixty minutes gone. Like Bestie said earlier on, Isaac misses an absolute sitter. Somebody's Middle of the much. goal. Can, practically can we not goal. talk about Sean Long stuff? Long, though, Long, Jesus, yeah, it's right. a heel, is it? I mean, as bad as what. At first, I thought, well, like, he's that one's coming up quite quickly. He's not there. He snatches that he's left. Seeing it back since, like, he's, he's got to do better with that. It's awful. Long staff ones are shockers. They're yeah. both. I think the long staff so, is the worst one get, I've ever It comes off his heel. But that's it's the, the worst thing Where you get to that point with 60 minutes gone, three ones down, you get two guilt head chances like that. Yeah. In the both end of like It's right. I would rather have that Game water bottle that point. having that opportunity rather than long staff. Because like, yeah. that was horrendous. Well, the, the Bonds, the, the, ah, the Bonds volume was three down as well. Yeah, and then even the, that melee before the penalty, that it's a similar one where a ball comes across from he hits it. I think he pulls it back a little bit, hits it, and Fabianski gets down, saves it. And then that's kind of where and, the penalty and, comes from. And that's from, what but... I was looking for in the second half, because albeit they scored very, very early, like yeah. literally at the start of the second half, mm-hmm. we didn't we didn't chuck the, the towel in. We did st- still go for it and had, as we've just said, Three, four very good chances no, to, I, to I, get back into the absolutely game. Absolutely agree with that. The current other players was tremendous. Yeah. No, absolutely I, immense. Yeah. But I just didn't, as I say, in an hour, missing them two chances. I thought there's not a hope in hell. Bestie, what was, the, back what was the noise like when Longstaff missed that chance? It, it, it must have been God, audible. It, it must have been audible. It was. Uh, it was. It was. It was, it was, it was the. It was the sound deck I heard when Alan Saint Maximum got sold. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, <laughs> it was yeah. a big probably. sigh. It was, it, Fifty thousand uh, sigh. It was. It was disgusting. Yeah, like, it was. <laughs> but I, I was wondering there, just been thinking about it because Fabianski is a goalkeeper. Likes this, he's like the Bravka. I like him. He's a good stopper, but he's on his line all the time. I wonder if that's one of the reasons it got so stretched because both defenses are having to. So we are. We had loads of joy when Barnes came on and Hall. Yeah. We were. We were. Even a three one down, I thought if we get a score, we could win this. And you don't often think that a three one down there, you kind of I'm thinking we are all over these here. Yeah. Mark mentioned the, uh, the Isaac chance, the, the um Longstaff chance, the chance that Barnes had that was saved, and obviously immediately before the penalties, I say there was that chance where the cross comes in, you kind of get around these man, hits it, saves it, and then what happens happens. And you look all that thing and like we are we're on these here. Yeah. Like if we can get a goal in the next few minutes, all bet not all bets are off, but we've got a good chance. And oh, we're batting them. We're absolute balls we're to the wall. Like, they, they didn't know what to do because then went through the... We used to do this ourselves, man. You, you you sit back and try to just, you know... Go through yeah. the motions. Go through the motions, run the clock Especially down. the game, weren't they? Pathetic. Just pathetic. You, you know, can't do it, man. Can't on, do it. on about their subs earlier and what Moyes did and all that. You ever seen an episode of Father Ted where the Republic of Ireland threw the Eurovision Song Contest because it's cost them too much to... Do you like West Ham are going, oh, I'm sick of the Conference League. Let's just finish 10th. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know if they might be going, we're sick of Moyes. <laughs> oh, well, possibly I. But uh, I, I, you know, listen, it was... Um, I, I agree with you that I thought if we could get a goal, we might draw the game. Yeah. If we can get one soon. I felt that way because you're right. It was just flow after... It was just wave after wave after wave after wave. But to Mark's point as well, when them two chances, especially the long staff one, when that one went big, and I thought, ah, I thought we're well, done. This well, might just not be our was it? Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It was two in quick succession, you know. But, and then uh, we get the penalty, and to be fair, even when we got that penalty, I was like, we ain't scoring this. Just because of the way we look at gone in front of goal mm. at the Gallagher at that point, because I'm sure we'll start talking about it now, but we're lucky to get that penalty. I'm on the fence. I'm unbelievable. Uh, on the fence, wow, like, really? I don't, I, don't know, I don't know what's right and wrong with it. I thought I'd be the only one sitting here that thinks that might, that's not a penalty. Nah, I'm, I'm, but it seems I'm I think on the fence. It, it's... I was yesterday sitting with my dad saying, 
like watching match day, watch highlights and stuff. And I was, and well, no, nah, I, I was convinced, not a penalty. I watch it again today, and I'm thinking, I can see why. I think the only at the time I thought the foul on Longstaff was was worse well, than the one on Gordon. Bestie, I think the only it. reason they've given because it, it's very similar to the first one, mm. and I don't think in the same game you kind of wore the first one and not the second one. That's the only reason I, I think they've sent him to the monitor. It, it, to the, Gordon, the first one, he's he's meant that he's dived in on that. It was a Harry Kane one, wasn't it? Harry Kane, stupid that challenge for the first penalty. Jumps in front of a centre half and draw. Yeah, when emotional. The second one, it's weird because they're facing each other, so it's almost as if. It's an, almost an obstruction. With the, the second one, you could argue because Gordon's facing the ball, he's moving towards the ball. The second one, he isn't. The ball's behind Gordon, and he's kind of got in the way of Phillips. And he's in. Well, G Gordon's came from behind Phillips. Yeah, and Phillips is motioning just clear on the ball. Hit Gordon. Yeah, yeah. And and I and I, and to me, I, I could be totally wrong. Well, I clearly am. But I always thought it was sometimes about like if you have control of the ball, are you is, is the player getting fouled in control of the ball? Well, Gordon didn't have the ball. He doesn't even have it. At any point, no, he doesn't know. So I. I I feel to say that's a penalty. I think we'll be able to do this yeah, with like where you don't like, necessarily need the, the ball to, don't, for no, it to be a penalty. Well, no, well, clearly not, because it was a pen, but... But look at how many times a player will go for a header. I, I would like... be absolutely furious if that was Bruno trying to clear the ball and a player from behind him puts his leg in the way. And it's a pen... Honestly, I'd be furious. It's a weird one, because like, how often have we sat here and said, um, if it'd be the other way, the, the referee wouldn't or VR wouldn't have changed his mind. So I think if the referee had given that one, well, I think it's oh, if ref gives it. You know, when we say like the, the, the VAR is not going to look at it and say it's not clear and obvious. The referee wasn't in, interested he's at right all because he's, he's looking at it and he said, "I've seen nothing wrong there." I didn't think it, it was. Away. And looking back at this, times I watch it and think, "Oh, it could be," and I'm still not sure. I don't know. But as soon as the ball went out of play for the goal kick, the referee can see him go right. I'm getting taught to again. Yeah, yeah. And that was kind of. I mean, which... there'll be loads of people. Like, I'm, I'm imagining the comments saying. He clears them out, like he's cleaned them out. That'll yeah, be the she was, she was said it to Jeff Stelling when he cleared them out. But most people are saying that he kicks Gordon, so it's a penalty. We do, ah. that it's right because if you if you kick a player anywhere on the pitch, it's a foul, whether you're intending to do it or not. If you kick a player, it's a foul. So, by the letter of the law, it's, it's so you, a foul. You're blaming but... the law. I see that's, that's all you can go you know on. That, that, that's why the penalty like, got given once again, right? Oh, at the very start, you have stopped, to give it? credit to Anthony Gordon. Oh yeah, because oh, totally. he knows what he's absolutely. doing. He, he's, I mean, he's, yeah. he's getting—he didn't half get hoofed. Like, I mean, he's not diving. He got absolutely cleaned out. Oh, he got it. But again, he's—he's he's so switched on. Loads of other players. We mentioned Bruno not running back. Whatever. We'll just—it's oh, it's broke down. Phillips is going to clear it, and they'll just let him clear it, and we'll start again. Mm -hmm. But Gordon's so angry. <laughs> he just he wants the ball be. back. You know what I mean? But he, he puts himself in positions where he loves to get you know, kicked. He does. There was like, a, a penalty it. earlier this season that we talked about Forest? similar length. Was it not a Forest or Brentford or Bournemouth at home? The one along the byline when he yeah, puts yeah. himself in front of the And that was a similar so, thing where yeah. he's, it's almost like the motion's already started and he's kind of gone like, I can get fouled here. I can, uh, I can get. Uh, so clever. And so it's, clever. It's a, such a, uh, maybe it's not a grey area, but morally to me, it feels, not morally, it's a stupid word to use, but it feels like it shouldn't be, but it is, or maybe it should be, but it is. I don't know. It's what Harry Kane would do. It is, and that's it's exactly what Harry Kane would do. He's another, he Grealish, he's another. Grealish is it. Bruno does halfway line. Oh, God. So, so Gordon just kind of get away with that one manipulative, time, like, like it, it's just manipulated the situation, really, hasn't it, to award a penalty to us? Yeah, he's exactly. Just thought, that, yeah, he's right. the ball. I'm just going to do this. I'm he puts his there in order to get yeah. kicked. Yeah. I love it, really. Like, it's, yeah. it's a funny one, right? Because this is how I think it would be definitely if Gordon comes from behind him and wins the ball, like taps the ball away, and then Phillips fouls him. That's a penalty. Yeah. I think the problem I have is the. Gordon never wins the ball. I got mentioned in the chat earlier right that um, it was one of the first half where um, Bruno's got a face now a goal. Paqueta goes in and takes it off and Bruno is trying to kick the ball. Oh no, it's facing their goals on first half. Goal. Bruno kind of swings at it. Paqueta nips in, gets the ball. Bruno takes him out. So it's very similar except Paqueta plays the ball and is moving towards, is moving away from Bruno. The, the referee plays advantage. Plays advantage, yeah, yeah. So that's the difference for me in that action out of, out of Talk on WhatsApp and disagree with people about the day is that like Paqueta has played the ball and is trying to progress with it. Where for me, Gordon is just trying to get hurt, he's yeah. not trying to kind of win the ball, not trying to get hurt, he's trying to draw a foul. I was trying to, it's weird because it's when Calvin no, Phillips... is he not technically trying to get in front of Phillips in order to take the ball, but the ball's behind Gordon to tackle him. No, it's not behind Gordon. No, no Gordon is. comes it's not, man, but it Gordon is. comes around. It's not behind Gordon. Gordon's Gordon's behind Phillips and he puts his no, leg. no, but when Gordon. When the tackle's made, the ball's behind Gordon's leg. You can't argue Gordon trying to play the ball. Gordon, because good the ball. Like, to be fair, I'm with Bessie. Gordon's no win. You're getting that ball. Ball's, no win. Uh, if, if Gordon hits it, he hits it with his heel accidentally. 
the ball, Gordon swings his foot round or leg round Phillips, and he's he's between Phillips and the ball in the end. But the mm -hmm. ball at no point is under, not even under control. He just doesn't play it. Yeah. Well, that's what. Well, again, go back to me original. That's why I don't think it's a penalty. I don't yeah. think it's a penalty because he's never played the ball. He's, he hasn't touched it. He's nowhere near it. Ah, but if in, he was, if he stood in the box and he punched him in the face, he's not. Oh, that's the ball, a bit penalty, I've seen that's loads of that. That's such a damn argument, that isn't it? Uh, it's not the ball. It's not the con. What if he pulled a gun out and shot him in the head? Contact. Just horrendous. What if he picked up water bottle up and pulled it out? We're asking Mark the Google false equivalents. It's exactly it's the same. It's just it is not the same. Being how is that the ball? same? He how is that the same? He just need to be like in punches him in the face. No, <laughs> that's just not the same. You're like. saying it can only be a penalty if he's in control of the ball. The ball's got nothing to do with it. That's what? Not. The ball's got nothing to do with it. Well, it hasn't. Well, what's Phillips trying to kick like? So but so right. So if, head. Just, so if he's just stood in the box, trying to kick the ball away, man. So if he's just of course, the ball's got something to do with it. So if he just kicked him in the box. Would it be a penalty? I, I because was because, he, the because he's mended, honey. He? He's seen him and hoofed him. He doesn't even know Gordon exists, man, when right. he's trying to kick the ball so, away. So he doesn't now, even know he's on so the field. So you're now saying that you can only give a penalty if you mean to foul the player. No. Is that what you're saying as well, is it? No, but, you, but that's you, what you've just said. You're saying, you, listen, <laughs> that punch, is what you punching just someone said. in what, the face, you <laughs> punching someone in the face is absolutely nothing <laughs> so at all similar to what happened there. So you're saying he, he kicked him. He kicked him in the box, yeah? Aye. Well, the leg. So it's a foul. Well, the leg. Oh, yeah. He kicked his leg in the box. I don't. I don't think it's a foul. No, I don't. I do, honestly don't. But if the ball was at the other side of the box and Calvin Phillips just kicked, yeah, hundred percent in the leg, would it be a penalty? But why would Phillips be swinging his leg? Like I, that? Why would he be swinging his leg like that? Why does it make any difference? It's the same outcome. It's oh, the it same. Mark, it's it the same. Make, insane. That, He's man. kicking his leg in the box. But he wouldn't be kicking his leg in the box with the ball's not. There. Of course, if the why ball's would, in the field, well, that's what he's doing. He's just been a dick. He's been a dick. <laughs> he's been a dick. I'm not. I'm, you are, I'm you pointing out you, been, why, you, are. why you are saying it's not a penalty. But why you're saying it's not a penalty, you just... Because we're actually you, got you common sense. It, we have a brain. We actually have a brain. to a different situation, and it is a penalty. That's why it's been given. No. Now, 100%, as I, I said at the start, I think it's very, very harsh. But... So what the, the fuck are you arguing for? By, because by the letter of the law... It's a penalty. All the referees on Sky Sports that was saying, oh, a penalty. It's a penalty. I, I, I still. Did I, anybody I mention it's... get somebody getting punched in the face? <laughs> it's funny enough. <laughs> did that? Oh, <laughs> of course it didn't. <laughs> but that's but, but everything you took now. Oh, he's not in control of the ball. Doesn't matter. He didn't mean to kick him. It doesn't matter. That's why it was given as a penalty. All right, moving on anyway. Anyway, whatever. Whatever your thoughts on it. We've got a water penalty. Uh, Isaac puts it in, in the net. And he is, apparently Scott said this, he is the second player to score a penalty against two different keepers in one game. For us? No. Oh, uh, ever? In the Premier League. <laughs> Steven Gerrard being the other one. Random fact for you. Was that was against us as well. Take a fact for you there. Take mm. a fact. Mm. Um, so let's talk. go back to it. Let's, let's go back to Bond, Bonds. Because his first goal, that ball from Isaac. Oh, oh unbelievable. Oh, unbelievable. That eye roll, Digger. <laughs> that that Honestly, was lovely. Yeah, oh. the, the, I mean, the finish is great. And again, I, I think I've said this a lot of times about that, that if he didn't make the run, the pass can't happen. I've, I've said this for yeah. months and, uh, about that. And uh, and the Barnes has run, you know, to, to but yeah. I mean, Isaac's, he's got bodies in front of him to be able to thread that pass so perfectly weighted. That is World class pass, yeah. like that's a world class it, it pass. It is, it is, and, and the run was, from Bonds as well. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, if the run doesn't happen, I don't know why we're bought though. I punch you in the face. In my minute. argument, um, <laughs> run on the finish. I've, he preferred Alan to come on though. We've had we've got strikers that I've liked that have been good strikers that I would have been less confident about than Harvey Bonds. Callum Wilson, I wouldn't be as confident about putting that away than Harvey Bonds. I was, yeah, well, I thought when he was one on one, I'd, I had no issues. Like, yeah. I did think it's going to be in. Like, I really Great did. Great finish, yeah. well. Oh, legs, wonderful. Right? Yeah. Absolutely wonderful. Um, and the second one. Uh, oh. So, so do you know what it is? Credit to Gordon because he chases after a ball, which is nothing really. Ball. Well, just, you know, who said it, doesn't I he? Think just that's goes, quite oh, a good ball, you know. Uh, do you think it's intentional? Yeah. Do you? Uh, I think he just he just tries to nah. get it past the next player. I think he's playing over the top looking for Gordon's run. Well, I'm, not, I'm not convinced. But either way, uh, for Gordon to win that ball, and is it two minutes on him? Uh, it's one of the, uh, it's one of the center halves, isn't it? I can't remember which Zuma, one it is. Zuma, Suchek, Kufal, and it's one of the center halves. I can't remember, but he, he does well, Gordon, to, to win that. Then obviously, he plays Bonds yeah. back in. Yeah. 
it's Phillips that, that just runs at oh. it and just tries to, to take it away from Bonds and that little touch that just takes it past him. He sends him down. It's touch. It's just he a touch. He moves his body. Yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah. He moves his body. Yeah. Body weight and, and Phillips is so awesome. Awesome. The finish. The, honestly, the whip that he gets the, in that the, and the, the power that he gets ridiculous. on it. It's how he... And I remember it being, and it is like a, it's like a finesse shot on FIFA, oh, what yeah, it's called yeah. in FC, but he hits it so hard. Yep. The it's his, unbelievable. The side of his foot, it's a wonderful goal. That, like, it's such a good finish. And it's in the only spot he could have put it, mm. at that height where the keeper kind of get to it. It's one of those goals where no keeper saves that. No keeper saves it. it I'm it's, it's, it's one of the best goals. Honestly, and I, I've seen a lot of good ones. Mm. It's one of the best I've ever seen. Strike like, fabulous goal. The, to be able to have the agility and in, in, to, to do the first move, you know, he sent he sent Phillips to Aldi, man. And it was unbelievable. And then to bend it around. The, and as you say, it was the only spot that he could put it in. It was right. literally, it was, but to, to have a finesse in terms of putting the bend on it, but to be able to have so much power generated as well, it's it was unbelievable. Really, like, really unbelievable. Goal, but like. to go about what you referenced about 20 minutes ago, before he stopped being an idiot, um, was, <laughs> um, was five pockets. years ago, that was, uh, <laughs> I, true, I, um, you were the one making the was, comment. Was how Barnes, seemed really energized and really one. like eager to, to make an impression which is fantastic it's exactly what you want from your bench players right and mm. uh, my god he was unbelievable yeah, well that's it the two goals he scored there were two goals that i don't think anthony gordon scores if the, if you're looking like for like yeah. I, I don't think he's got it's the finishing for me that it's the end i, I love gordon Ooh, don't i'm not sure the second I, one maybe i, I really yeah. do I, I mean we've seen him do it that i think he would have not as well as the top corner not I'd, as well as barnes i agree i think he would have tried it yeah but I'm not so sure. I think we've scored. seen him score like the one he scored against Man City. That was a lovely goal. It was a great goal. But he tried that 12 times. It wasn't himself. quite the... But the, for Barnes, both goals, one way is one-on-one. I'm more confident with Harvey Barnes one-on-one than I'm Gordon. Yeah, I agree. Hey, this, mm. this is me. I'm hands on the... He I, did I, score one-on-one one 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 against Liverpool, I remember. Look. That was a lovely finish. Which one? The uh, one against Liverpool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was a good finish. But I know what you're saying. But the second one as well, I don't think he gets as much on it. I don't think he hits the ball as clearly. Absolutely unbelievable finish in this the roof yeah. just came off the place when that goal By the same like, token, I don't think Barnes would have been able to do what Gordon did to make the goal. If the ball comes over, I don't think Barnes would have used his body as well, had the pace to kind of get in. Yeah, going to great there. Yeah, I think that was, yeah. you saw the, the both of them doing, offering what they can offer yeah. together. Yeah. So what was the noise like, Mark? Oh, unbelievable. Like, because I think there was just a bit, like it had been building, obviously we've got the, the, the penalty back. Yeah. And then when we got the equaliser, like everybody, was like right, we're we're because uh, that I think the penalty gave us that belief of the chances because we're probably ninety nine percent. I think, I think when we scored the penalty, there. that's when people's four, opinions four, started. Uh, yeah, because I think everybody thought well, we're done. As I say, by that point, we got was enough we're time back into as well. the game, and then yeah, well, even like the injury time that was added yeah. added on at the end was a was a big help. Obviously, with it coming quite late in the game, then the extra chunk the ref hide on the, the end of uh, it as well. Uh, oh, yeah, wasn't I, it, it I, just when when it went to three, like you could you could see when we got the equaliser, they were done absolutely yeah. done and we were just still after it the whole crowd was was bang up and then honestly when that fourth went in it it was proper as the kids like to say limbs limbs aots limbs. Uh, you know it is the first two goals the two penalties i've obviously i was filmed at blackburn and applauding that was my <laughs> first game since blackburn as well you know saturday i didn't go i wasn't at wolves for my birthday and I, I think that's six weeks that was it came anyway and I was applaud both goals. I, the two penalties, I was like that. I wasn't like doing limbs. I was like, oh, this, this must just be how I celebrate goals. I'll pay good money to say you do limbs, mate. <laughs> I, well, you would have seen it. The third and the fourth in particular, bless him up. After the third goal, I had a pain here. And I thought, oh, shit. <laughs> and I think I've just bumped. I'm going to miss for a win. I think I've just given Smitty that, that kind of um, vigorous a cuddle. But I've like, oh, it's fine. I have the muscular thing, whatever. But the fourth one, by Christ, I, I, that was a. I'm not saying it was one of my favourite ever moments in St. James' gym because luckily over the past couple of years there's been roads so since the take or even pre take It was like Hayden against Chelsea. It was a bit like Hayden against like Chelsea. That. I'll say Shearer's third against um, Leicester, the 4 3. Unbelievable. Back in 97. Hayden against Chelsea. That was like 93rd minute or something. Yeah, that, that was, was it. Well, uh, that's how, because it was late on in the game and the yeah. head just, we were on yes. it and on it and First on shot. it. Just, we were battering them at the, at the end. Yeah, like. yeah. It was an awful game, that was all mind. It was a terrible... It was the last goal I saw before COVID, that one. He's on about, he was on about... You were on about this one. This one. Yeah. Sorry, I've been here. He's on about that one. We were, we were like... Not, we, weren't, one, we weren't even knocking. We were like... Oh, it, 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 as I said, when we... The door was a jar. Got about, three, came through it. got about the 3-2, I thought like... Was how long left? 25 minutes, half an hour? Long time. Was it even that? And I thought... It's, it's ours? Yeah. It's ours to lose this? We were giving them that much bother. And the kind of deal with the pace that we've got. And we obviously... Well, no, it was Barnes and Gordon by that point. Well, now this is 
if we don't win this, it'll be disappointing. Mm. It was such a weird game. Scott I'm, said it was up there with a the four three against Norwich in the yeah. championship. Oh, oh god, yeah. I'm that was the other the, one of the other ones I was thinking of where yeah, we yeah. came back from three one. Oh, that was leads away as well. Yeah, I, it's probably been one, one of the, the best games St. James Park has seen for a long, long time. But you know what it is? It was like awful. And comebacks, for, I mean. for an hour, it was awful. It, awful no, but probably comebacks harsh. just feel better, don't it? Was, it was Italian 90. The last half an hour was unbelievable. It was Italian 90. Anyway, the quality wasn't very much, but the drama yeah. and the way events unfolded was like, that was amazing. I, I just feel we're seeing every version of what we are. You know, yeah, we're, we're, agree with that, like, we're, seeing, we're seeing the Newcastle that we've seen maybe too much lately where it's just near control in the game countless mistakes and then you see the boss of the wall we're gonna have you Newcastle which we can be yeah it's just unbelievable and I think as well when you consider all the injuries and obviously you got Gordon sent off great but I suppose that didn't of course I that didn't really that ridiculous so that, that, that was that's my next thing because I've got a bit of a bone to pick with the 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 um with the referee here because mm. the referee doesn't realize who he's given that yellow card to. Well, sorry, he might realize, but he's completely forgot that he's already booked Gordon. I think Gordon's completely forgot as well. I think mate. everybody has because it's such a half arsed red card. But he doesn't, he's not like, he doesn't, he's not the ball kicking away. the ball away. Is he? he's, he, he's obviously kicked it away from where it's taken to, but he's rolled it back towards the keeper. The keeper has then he's take, well, immediately put, the just put is, it straight he's back. He's taken the talk. ball away from the position that it should be taken. That's what you have to look at. It. So it's silly from Gordon. He passes it back to keeper, so so the referee's got every right to, to give him a yellow card there. Well, but, it's Zuma, Zuma straight away. As soon as he's done it, Zuma's winging well. on. There was a few, quite a few little meows at the. Uh, he should get it every during game. the game, like it, when it, he was it's on just, the ball. The, the thing, me and Dick, I were talking about this before we started recording. It's so annoying that it was. It was half fast from Gordon really to pass it. He didn't knock it away. I, I don't think he was trying to gain any sort of advantage from it. Hmm. But you see those sort of. It's a class of descent these days when you kick it away, or is it uh, whatever it's, it's classes kind of these days? Descent, isn't that poser? You see, it happens so many times in a game, and the referee hardly ever punishes it. I know it has been clamped down a little bit this season. Yeah, but we've seen so though. much. Was, we, I, I, think, I, I think, I think, I think in that Liverpool. moment, I think in that moment, given it's four three, they're trying to get a goal, stop this time, it's a free kick, they can load the box. Given it's given it's scenario of what it is in the moment, the refs, I think, is thought mm. you're just trying to. Yeah. the clock down, you know what I mean? And I book you, but I agree, I'm not so sure he thinks he's had already booked him. Like, yeah, because I don't think he sends him off for it. I'll be honest. Uh, the problem is, once he's done what he's done, I he kind of go, Actually, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. It was like, great because, um, the, the commentary on TNT Sports oh, had yeah. just <laughs> awarded yeah. Gordon the man of the match at that moment. Yeah. Then Gordon well, starts walking through, off, they're just talking through, and he just walks up and it's on the screen, Gordon, blah blah blah, as he's walking off the field <laughs> and unbelievably confused. And I go, Oh, he must be injured. They must be taking him off. Yeah. Then they realise they go. Oh, actually, the, he's, he's been, been the sent off. He's been sent off. I think the referee's bang on. To be honest with you. No, nah, I think he's got every right, right to do it. It's right. It's he's you kick the ball. Gordon hasn't played the ball. The keeper to go there. You are sport. No, he chance. hasn't. No. No. It's uh, it, I am. Um, but was it Alexander Arnold got sent off at St James's early in the season for pretty much identical? Whether he's kicked the ball away, but it's not been like he's twatted it in the road. No, head. did uh, did Arnold get sent off or did he not? He was someone else. There was one. He should, I think he should have been, but he didn't. Because one... he, he got booked for that, and then he cleared Gordon out a second that later. Might be what I'm of didn't get. I didn't, what I'm he, of. Someone so got sent off. It was a similar it? thing. And he didn't get sent. Oh, off. Van Dyke got sent off on it. Van Dyke got sent off. Yeah. Oh, I, I was on, but yeah, Carl Alexander. Alexander exactly Arnold. God, I, I was being for a red card, and I, at the time said, "Well, he kick the ball away, kick the ball away." Should be getting booked. I hate it. Mm. So I'm good at because it means Gordon's missing for Everton of all teams. Yeah. Tomorrow night. Yeah. Along with just some really bizarre Liverpool all got injured by the ball hitting them. Oh, it was a bad enough. Yeah, it was weird because no, it, it, the way he went, I, I thought, obviously, from our end, when he did it, I was like, has he been, you know, has it no, caught in the, the ball, nether right. regions? Nah, I think the ball's hit his leg, but, oh, his, his ankle, ankle, and it's yeah. moved his leg in such a way that his weight's come down. He, he, his ankle was, his foot, sorry, was just off the ground, just yeah. a little bit, and then obviously the ball's hit, and then when he's planted his leg, he's, his ankle was actually no, sort of it's gone down. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. It was bad. Like it was bad. That so unlucky that. Like, but is, look at the injuries yeah. that we're getting. Yeah, again, we've made the point how like kind of freak injuries. Yeah. And again on Saturday, like I, the Lascelles thing was from a collision, mm-hmm. and that's his ACL. And he's the poor bugger's out for ages. I question the wisdom of him staying on, because when he went down, Aye. he was braying the deck. And he was down for a good six, seven minutes, maybe. And yeah, we were sure what, do, yeah. we're going like oh, that's him. He, he did. He did run around on the sideline. He warmed he up and yeah. ran around for a yeah. little bit. And I was surprised he could even run, but he knew almost immediately. Well, we said straight away that the test will, will be when he he has a has to have a run or yeah. has yeah. to try and sprint. And as soon as 
Soon you know, you try. need it to go that, that yeah, you, you have to try it though. Like you have to try those things. And I know people go back to bottom and say, Well, we'll let bottom play with it, and, and this is what's happened now. But I think you have to try because look, Gordon went down earlier on, Fabian went down earlier on holding the legs, and they continued the game. Like, you just it, have to test it, and you've got to trust the player to a certain extent. You have, but I think a lot of times you can tell like when Shearer has got done at the stadium, like you knew. I, that was a proper like, full-on snap that like he no, he 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 did go down heavy, but then he seemed to to, to recover hmm. on all God, and he was got up. He was a bit tentative, and I thought oh, that looks all right. And like Deck like saying there, he was out on the jumping up and down, was, and running yeah. up and down the line, and went, oh, maybe he's just you know give it a little tweak, and it's actually yeah. all all uh, right. Possibly, possibly. Mm. But um, I'm going to go through a couple of questions as fast as I can here. Just um, before you do, yes. though, sorry, typical Newcastle. We, we very nearly chucked it away at the death. Who would the oh, He's got his score. I can't believe. I can't believe he misses. I think it's. He's not expecting it to come to him, so he doesn't have time to. So he hits his chest. It was yeah. a check. Ah, check post. Yeah. What a it's check. A, it, I, I don't want to. I like the Bravka, but he, it's he's it's flying. Shocking, there. He's, like, oh, he's flying because I'm watching the thing and go on, come and claim it, and he just he doesn't get anything like close. Oh, to it. Even he nearly there. injures himself when he goes oh, in the deck as well. I think he did. <laughs> well, he, he didn't. He couldn't take a goal kick, could he? Yeah, he took a couple because I remember in the first half they had Ariola knackered, so it was like a Sunday league game. I couldn't believe he missed that league game. Um, right, so obviously come up too quickly. I think that's next game up is Evan on tomorrow. Tuesday night, tomorrow which night, is yeah. tomorrow night. If you're watching live, um, and let's have a quick look to see if we've got any questions in that. Um, the first one from Matt that says, uh, "Can we have a chat about Anderson starting ahead of Longstaff tomorrow?" Oh, please, please. You look good. He came on. I please. thought like look big and fit and has to. Yeah. I'm all for it. Like, yeah. Now again, 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 again. How how like to have his little lieutenants out there, and there's already going to be a number of changes tomorrow. So he might look at long stuff and go, I need someone that is... Because again, I've, I've said this how many times have I said this, when you make too many changes, it just everything breaks like... Well, that's what happened. It's, um, it's Saturday. And, but in isolation of the question, 100% like... 100%. I, think, I think you're right. I think if Tino was still fit, if Lascelles was still fit, if Gordon was going to be playing, if Miggy was certainly fit, uh, uh, Crafty could argue as well, I think you'd probably say, yeah, well, you could you could make that change and it won't be too much... You're almost evil. making four or five before you yeah. even thought about the other ones, which is... Then you're talking six, seven, perhaps eight mm. changes. Uh, like as if you're going into a cup game. Yeah, it is, it is. And I just think it it, it, it breaks your flow and things like that. I'm not saying the flow has been the greatest, but... but Let's try and guess, season. right? So so <laughs> guessing, or oh, we're just going to Bravga straight in, if he's not injured? Yeah, yeah, that will be. So to Bravga and right back, trips back? I don't know. He, is he I pissed? don't even think he's fit, no, yeah. is he? He wasn't on the bench, know. was he, at the weekend? I've, I've got so... any press conference part. Or, was he not on the bench? I, I think, think you might see Murphy there. I think Murphy will probably play. I think you might see Murphy there. If Kraft is a bad one, it must be from the come off. Well, so the, there is, there's been a couple of comments I don't know about Kraft. Just a, again, because he's Impact, coming back yeah. from injury. Whether well, yeah. you know, there's been a couple of comments to... about Kraft that, that a couple of people saying that yes, he did go straight down the tunnel, but people saying that's been confirmed that it's not injured. He's not, uh, but I don't know why he made need a shite. To be fair, Unless it might just been a ta- you know tiredness coming back from from injury. If... Was it not just technical? How how just didn't just, want to just how he went down the tunnel? Mm. So he was taking off. That's he might be pissed off. Reason that's thinking. Um, he went down with for one of the coaches straight down the tunnel. Um, apparently, Matt's saying that that trip yet is training uh, today. So he's so back on the grass, as people like to say. Training. Honestly, it's, it's something inside us just erupts. So, but let's just say, <laughs> I don't know what it is. let's say Crass isn't injured, right? Kraft, so Kraft's 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 right back. He's, he's right, back. right back, isn't he? Centre back partnership, Burn and Share. Burn and Share, you would imagine. I'd be happy with that. Even though Burn's not a centre back one. Left back. I know, I've got the receipts, Mark. I've got the receipts. Get them in there. Hall, I left back. 100%. 100%. Yeah. I think you've got to give him a go, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Uh, centre back. I don't, yeah, sorry, want to, I don't think you want to, but you'll have to. The, the only difference is, like, uh, even you're, you're saying about Anderson there, there's a big difference in coming on and playing 20 minutes, half an hour, than than starting a game. Mm-hmm. And, and, and I, you know, I'll, I'll even chuck Bonds in there, you know, yeah. from from that point of view. Hall, yeah. Anderson, two of them are just coming back from, from big injuries, long-term injuries. And you want to stick them in and give them, I mean, not necessarily 90 we minutes. Don't have but an option now, though. No, I know. So that's like, that's that's the thing. I think Bonds is going to have to 100%. So Bonds play. on the left. Yeah. Yeah. Gordon over on the oh, right. The Gordon's in. Gordon's suspended. Gordon's oh, suspended. God, of course. I... He's got two. Did he get, does he just get one game? Yeah, and the yellow card yeah, thing doesn't one, change. Yeah. The yellow card, yeah, still, yellow card still carries over. Because he was two yellow cards away from a two match ban, wasn't he? But he got two yellow cards, but the red card must. So if you don't know, um, Mark Douglas had put up. A paragraph on what it meant oh, for everything. So look at his, we don't know. So don't blame us. Um, so left hand side, Bonds. Murphy's going to be right, isn't he? Because Murphy on the right. Miggy, Miggy's injured. Well, it, it depends if if, if Trippier's fit because if he's not, it, Murphy has to go right back. Yeah, 
Yeah. So then you're struggling for right wing then, aren't you? Crafting yeah. trips are out. Imagine if I had a strength in there. Imagine, just imagine if I had a strength in right wing. Um, so the unfortunately the, the the midfield three will be the same as it was. Um, just gone. Do you think Longstaff? So will I hope not. I don't want it to be. Put Willick on one of the wings. Hey, he, he possibly might. You're giving Longstaff grief, yeah. Willick wasn't our clever. He was poor. He wasn't great. He was no. poor Saturday. No, I, I, I think he's he's probably Longstaff's the worst of the two of them, though. I don't think he wasn't Saturday. Though. He no, not in Saturday, just overall. Yeah, like he's been he's been he's bad. Looks like yeah, he's a rest. I, I feel he gets a lot of abuse. I, I think. Well, go on. I think talk talk and Naka, you just see that uh, the fan, not the fan cam, the um, it's a called Madrina? back cam oh. stuff. Mm. When the players are coming in, Bruno is the last man into the change room. He looks done. Yeah, he looks absolutely. Well, spent. I did. I did think he struggled to get on the pitch. Like to be fair, on Saturday, but that's that's that understandable. That yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it, it, it played so many minutes. <laughs> there was a brilliant bit in the second half where Paqueta picked up the ball, like kind of on the edge of their box, and it was after Bruno had gone through on on goal. Mm. He kind of ran in the middle, and Paqueta picked up the ball, and he was running away from Bruno with it. And you just seen Bruno like in jogging back. He then realised Paqueta had the ball, and he just went <laughs> went at him, thinking, ha, "I'm going to have you here." <laughs> he just like, just fully, like fully thought he was going to take him around the he way. Him a few times, like. Mind you, the bench tomorrow, right? My God. <laughs> wait, wait, run it. <laughs> my God. Good. Don't be shocked, watching. right, if you see us four on that bench tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> but it could be, like, one of the worst benches I've ever seen. Like. So yeah. I think it'll be a There's case of a lot of youngsters on there, when right? that 11 that starts, a bit like the PSG game, there'll not be any, well, hopefully there'll not be any mm. changes, because you'll not want to bring any changes. Bit of a, just coming up in the national break as well, where you, you like to think, well, one or two games, then we've got a break. We've got this one, we've got Fulham next week. But Tottenham Funny, very, very, soon. Tough, very tough game. Yeah. Well, tough. God, I mean, I, I put a thing on Twitter after the game. People say there's nothing to play for, and we're, I think we're four points. Oh, off I, think there's loads I think, to play for. I think that game is yes. just that game. If if you didn't already have that, should have ignited some sort of fire in your belly. That game about oh, the, yeah, the, yeah. push to go. <laughs> yeah, I, I just think like I just hope we don't get. I'm really into that. This is this is tough. Of, the, of these two, the two games, the West Ham and Everton, I thought Everton was the one where would that was the one would probably be more likely to get something uh -huh. out of and get a, a win. And now it's kind of fit when it's hit because game, obviously we we'll get the win against West Ham, yeah. but got so many injury concerns on the back of it. Like four injuries and suspension. Like, and from an already depleted a team already missing Joe Linton, Wilson, Tonali. You know, um, there's a lot of lads out there who aren't, aren't out there. <clears throat> Yeah, but they love to. They're a, a, a rough old team where they just love to, you know, give a good kick, and so that could be interesting as well. I honestly think it's going to be Mike Dagger. It's only just gone. I think he was pulled. Somebody just said Dagger took his mic and it's gone off. <laughs> Mike Fogg Dagger. Good evening. You bad guy. Um, I I just think it'll be really really tough, and and that's due to the fact of. The lads who are already were saying fit have got to play within two days. Well, right, technically. So Sunday Monday are off. Mm -hmm. So Bruno, he ain't gonna be any sharper, like. So even the players that we know can play are gonna be a little yeah. bit worse off. And then you've <clears throat> then you've got no options at all on the bench. It's gonna be very difficult. This is definitely the week that you didn't want to have a, a midweek game like isn't yeah, it? Right, yeah. yeah. Give you a few days to get into Saturday against yeah. Fulham. You think Absolutely. you know, might have a bit more of a chance, but it's going to be a tough ask. But beating them, if we're just looking at beating West Ham, that's what kept we in touch with the chance of Europe. Yeah. Because if them had a won, that would have been seven points ahead. It's, that's it's, it's getting tough. We've got a game in hand as well with it on them. So. Uh, yes, we'll have, yeah. yeah. yeah one so. point behind, is that one point yeah. behind the game in hand or four behind the game in hand? Four behind Man U, maybe. They obviously uh, yeah, we're, we're four behind them now. Because results went our way, didn't we, the weekend? And that rolls you onto the conversation, which we're not going to have tonight. But what is better, points on the board or a game in hand? Ah, oh, God. Yeah. Always points on them. Always yeah, points on them. Would agree, yeah. Yeah, so win your game in hand, don't you? That's the, exactly that's exactly the chasing, aren't you? Uh, but yeah, that's us done. Thanks everybody who has joined us live tonight. There's been around about a thousand people uh, watching through this one. Um, if you do want to like the video, it means a lot to us. If you do want to become a subscriber, it costs you nothing to do that. Uh, we are so close to 11,000 at the moment. Uh, thanks for everybody who has signed up for the membership. There has been a handful of views tonight. And um, that will go towards buying Decker a new mic. So if you haven't already become a member, it is just two ninety nine a month to do so, um, and you get extra videos. You get early access to videos. We did record third week in the row. We recorded another Mark versus Decker. This one does not end in a draw. Okay, so tune in 
for that one. And we go around the world, around the countries, don't we, lads? Pick a flag, name a player from that country. Yep, that's correct, yeah. So we'll see you for that one. Who uh, drew the flags, by the way? Thanks, everybody. Well, it looks like a child done them, but it was me. <laughs> uh, thanks. Work, it was a lad from War Flags. <laughs> 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 thanks, everybody. We'll Those see you flags. next time. Ta-ra.